What's up? Girl, you are going to get me in trouble. What did you do to your mom's plant? Or what's left of your mom's plant? Really? Well, all right. Howdy, everyone. Man, I totally forgot. I got, I have old school dad duties today. I got old school dad duties I got to attend. I got to get changed. So yeah, dad duties are back. Um, I gotta go pick up Tay from school and then take her to soccer practice. Mackenzie, uh, Mackenzie's been having uh, some trouble lately with dairy. When she was little, she couldn't drink um, regular milk. She had to have soy milk. So it's kind of been a problem for a little while. Uh, when she was little, disappeared, went away. Uh, didn't think anything of it and now uh, now it's back. Um, so it's been giving her some stomach problems and, and stuff. So she stayed home today, just not feeling, not feeling good after a great soccer game yesterday too. So I get to play dad today and go pick up Tay and take her to uh, training. You forget, forget, forget how convenient it is when your kids uh, start to drive and, but it's cool because you know, it's nice. It, it gives you a break and allows you to, to have more time in your day. But then again, you also miss it too. Like I miss, I miss being dad and going and getting my kids. And that's part of the reason, you know, we moved out to Tennessee was to open up some more times. We are going to go pick her up and be a dad. Definitely do not miss the car pickup line. I used to be able to park in that little park over there. I'd get here early enough and I had plenty of time to park over there. Got here a little bit later than I wanted to, forgot a few things uh, for training and practice and I wanted to bring my laptop, keep myself busy while she is uh, tra at training. So, it's okay, we're parked over here. It's so funny back here in Tennessee, like you just, you park on the grass, you park wherever you want. Like everyone just parks wherever. If you did that back in California, my goodness, there'd be so many lawsuits and people getting upset and you ruin this and you ruin that. And not to mention they don't know how to drive, so they probably get stuck in, in the grass and, you know, who knows. But it's so funny to watch where people park. They just kind of, you know, everyone's just kind of polite about it and just parks wherever they need to park and they make sure they're not in the way of anybody else. But uh, it is it is funny to watch how people park back here. So I'm gonna pick her up, drop her off at training. I think training is like an hour and a half. I I haven't done this in a while. Like I feel weird. Like Mackenzie started driving. She got her license a, a month or so after her birthday. So I mean, she actually started driving just before the COVID like shutdown and everything. Um, so she's been driving and it's been hands off for for me and Babs. We haven't done any any driving um, because you, you have Mackenzie, you your little Uber going. So Tay still has less than six months until she gets her permit. So she'll get a permit and then we'll have a second driver in the house. Um, so that'll be fun. I mean, it just it's just going so fast now. Everything is just going so fast, uh, but it's fun. It's fun, to, it's fun to play dad mode and come pick them up uh, from school because I missed this. I didn't get to do this a lot, so it's fun. What's up? Hi. Dad's picking you up from school like old days. Yeah. Isn't that fun? It's kind of weird, but yeah. I'm not your sister like yelling at you to hurry up so we can go and... No. Uh, uh, and just playing with the radio and the air and just uh, and touching things. Mm -mm. Just chaos. Yeah. How was school? Good. Good? That's yeah. good. You know you're in the newspaper? Yeah, I saw that. Like the physical newspaper? <laughs> with a hat trick yesterday? Whoa, that, I was never in the paper when I was in school. That's cool. Adios, homie. What time is it done? Six? <laughs> Coronavirus. All right, so she is going to training. I'm gonna go, I gotta go pick up our shirts from the Rebel Run. They are finally ready. 
I guess I don't think we're getting medals. Um, which is really disappointing because that's the whole reason we run. It's for the medal. Nobody runs to run. Like, come on, we want the medal. Um, and then I gotta run to, gotta run to Dick's really quick. Gotta run to Rule King. I wanna find like a feed bin to make like a wash thing for Macy. There's a lot of little errands to do. So we're gonna do that. And then when I get back here, got a cool package in the mail. I wanna, I wanna share with everybody. It has to do with Macy. So uh, let me go run and do that and then we'll be back. All right, back from running errands. Let's see if you will stay right there. Looks like you will. So we got a little bit before. Oh, nope. Tay's here. Guess we'll open this back of the house. All right, all right. So, I wonder how that, move all this podcast stuff over a little bit. We're gonna talk about this at, at while well, Tay was at training, but time got away from me I started a rant on Instagram about masks because I heard some people were talking about it in the store and I'm just done done with the circus done with the masks done with this whole thing so and then they give us these we went and picked up our shirts from the rebel run we got these cute little masks from Maryville Maryville rebels made in Vietnam that's where our problem lies as Americans we're depending too much on this stuff anyways that's for another day so, this we got from Mace. All of a sudden, my feed was just doused with this because you know, you look at one thing or someone starts listening to you, Alexa or something, and they start running all kinds of ads. Um, this, this is a dog collar. Defy dog collar. So, got this from Macy. It is a dog collar that has GPS hooks up to your phone there's an app uh, you can build boundaries and imaginary fences around your yard so you let you know when your dog leaves the property leaves that imaginary fence uh, it has 24 7 tracking of your pet if your pet were to get lost uh, you can immediately find your pet similar to like you think like if you think microchipping right if your dog gets turned in to the vet somewhere then at least you know they can contact you but if the dog doesn't get turned into the vet you're out of luck right you put up some lost dog signs and that's about it so this, on the other hand, allows you to track your dog real time where, where they're at. Reviews were, were pretty decent on them. Saw a couple that talked about, you know, the accuracy and stuff, but shoot, if this thing can get me close enough to my lost dog, I'm happy because I can only imagine losing Macy right now, knock on wood. Um, that would just destroy me, the family, everybody, right? So uh, this should be fun. I hope this works good. You do have to get a little cellular uh, plan to go with it. I think it's like, something like a dollar 75 a week or something and if you buy up to three years it's only like 225 bucks or something for a three-year subscription it hooks up to AT&T which that's the service we have right now anyways and uh, gives you real-time data to your phone so I'm excited to try this on Macy and, uh, and we're gonna see how this works like I'm really optimistic about this I'm excited about this I think it's gonna work well I just love I love where we're at with technology right now there is so much technology now we are so blessed to be in this this time we're in right now as far as technology goes we got Macy's little collar. Oh, nice. We have to try this out on her. There's no instructions, though. Huh. You just need an app, I guess. So we'll download that app. We will put this on Macy, and we will see how this goes. Cool little collar. It's not oh, too bulky. Sturdy. And this can be expand. This can be added to um, a bigger collar. So as she grows, and we need to get her a bigger collar, this can just be transferred to another one. Uh, you just buy the extra collar for. 15 bucks or something but the main piece waterproof uh like resistant you know dust proof all that good stuff so it's not gonna get beat up outside um so yeah i'm excited to see how this goes all right so i guess we're all set up now it let me plug in the base the base is something that you keep closest to wherever she's gonna be uh most of her time and then it walks you through like a little safe zone where you mark your safe zone on a map. We gotta figure out how we're gonna draw the fence line and all that stuff so you know when she goes out of the fence line. Um, but they have you put in your breed, um, weight, all that kind of stuff, her birth date, all that. So it kind of keeps track probably just, cause I think it tracks like steps and everything too. I don't, do you step count I guess with Macy? Like, I don't know. Sure. It's kind of cool. It's kind of fun to see what it's gonna do. So the collar was, I think it's like 149 bucks right now. 
uh, but you get 50 bucks off. So it was only 99 bucks. So I figured, why not? Let's try it. I think it's a cool solution. Like, I think it's awesome to be able to track her and, you know, see if she goes somewhere or if she's lost, be able to track her down. So why not try it? See how it goes and uh, see what a little puppy does. How are you doing in there? You ready to try your call? Okay, so as far as the subscription plan goes, um, the current free plan that you get with it is monitor your dog's activity for the day, set custom activity goals, track your dog's location on walks, multi-owner and dog walker features. So I guess if you have, you know, you leave your dog with somebody or someone comes here to do dog walking while you're away, you can monitor it. Um, now, if you do the GPS subscription, the one through 18T that I was talking about, the cellular one, daily, weekly, and monthly activity history, track your dog anytime from anywhere, establish safe, safe zones, escape monitoring and alerts. So that's kind of drawing the invisible fence I was talking about. 24 seven nationwide GPS LTE tracking, and you can try it for 30 days. So I think we're gonna try that one for 30 days, see how it goes before we buy a plan and then uh, probably go from there. Sweet. Mackenzie gave us her, her school photos. Now they just give you this little pamphlet with her photos on it and you get to pick from your packages that you're going to order um i was just reading these and like if you look at package five if you look at package five right so standard without retouching and name on wallets so the retouching retouching will remove minor blemishes so we're photoshopping kids school photos now that's where we're at really that that really upsets me. Do you see that? Yeah. They're photoshopping kids' photos now? Do you pay extra to have them retouch it? You pay $10 to have them retouch photos, to photoshop your kid's photo. Maybe so it ain't even gonna be what they look like. Don't want their kids to have zits on their face. So they we all have zits. Everyone has zits. Well, maybe parents want them taken out. This is ridiculous. This world this we live in is ridiculous. But, exciting, exciting, look at it. Get, let me get our little thing here sports section the daily times sports section right so right here what does that say maryville's hogue nets hat trick versus lenore city <gasps> wow what do you think of your kid being in the paper oh you got your own copy i think you like it oh, i think we're kind of proud of her that was pretty cool that was a cool soccer game yesterday that's Taylor's copy. This is Taylor's copy. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. We do have the newspaper from over the weekend coming that had the girls' photos in it too. We didn't order that yeah. one. Her mom did. Grandma needs them. She's proud of them. You gotta be proud of the kids. That's awesome, right? All right, that is it. From Tennessee, y'all. We're gonna have some fun right now and put the collar on her, see where she goes. That is it though. Keep your head high.